it's Oritiro. Welcome to the Esatino Artists channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Zoom meeting from start to finish, step by step. We had this question come in from one of our viewers, and by the way, I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying our Zoom tutorials. If you're new to this channel, I will put a link in the description below to the playlist of Zoom tutorials that we have on this channel so you could check that out. But let's get started. So I'm on the zoom.us page and I'm going to click on my account. I'm already signed in, um, so you might see something that says sign in if you're not signed in already. So you do need a Zoom account, obviously, to set up a Zoom meeting and host it. And if you don't have a Zoom account yet, I will put that link in the description below so you could sign up for that. So once you're logged in, you have a couple options to set up your meeting. So if you want to create a meeting right now and just meet with someone right this instant, then you can go to your personal meeting ID. And that is your personal virtual meeting room where you can at any time go to that link and also share it with, you can share it with someone else as well. And you guys can meet in that virtual meeting room. So in order to see the full link, you'll need to click on show and then you can copy and paste that into your browser. And then you'll be in the meeting room. You would also share the same link with your attendee or participant, and they will also be jumping into that same meeting room. So that's one option if you want to jump on a meeting right away. The other option is to schedule a meeting. So if you're scheduling a meeting ahead of time, you know that you have the date set uh, with someone, then you can click on meetings over here and then click on schedule a new meeting. So once you're over here, uh, you can easily just put in the details for your new meeting. I'm just going to put my test meeting it's optional to put a description, I usually don't. Um, you'll need to set the date and time for when you want to have your meeting. So let's say it's in May 13th and um, 2 p.m., all right? After you set your date and time, uh, you can also select the duration. I usually don't even touch it, uh, touch the duration here. If it's a 30 minute meeting or, or more, I just kind of leave it at that. But you can also, this is how you communicate to whoever you're inviting to the meeting what the, the time block is. If you do want to let them know of the time limit of the meeting, you can select that from here. And keep in mind, if you are on the Zoom basic plan, you do have a limit of 40 minutes. So your meeting can't exceed, cannot exceed 40 minutes if you have more than three participants, if you have three or more participants in that meeting. But if you're doing a one-on-one -on -one meeting, then it can, it, your meeting can be an hour, an hour and a half, as long as you want. If you have the upgraded plan, so you don't have a basic plan, then there's uh, there's no time limit on the on the duration of the meeting with three or more participants. So just keep that in mind. So you can select your time zone from here. Um, meeting ID. Meeting ID basically asks you if you want to generate a new link, which I recommend leaving it on. Uh, or if you want to meet within your personal meeting ID, I just recommend if you're scheduling it, let it generate a new link so that less people have your personal meeting ID link. Uh, you can have it set to require a meeting password or not. And this password will be sent to your participants or attendees, whoever you're inviting, they will see this in their email. So they will have it to, uh, to log into the meeting. And I kind of leave everything else um, off by default here. I put both. I, you can customize it however you want. It's basically asking, do you want the video to be turned on or off for the participant and the host? Um, I just kind of leave all of that. Meeting options, you have different options here. So I just leave it checked on enable waiting, which basically means that when a participant comes on to the meeting with your link and the password, they go into a waiting room until you actually, as the host, allow them to enter into the meeting room. So they're kind of on standby until, you know, so that you can get ready, you can make sure your camera's all done and your mic and everything. Uh, and then when you're ready, you can let them into the meeting room. So I leave that on yes, but you can also have these other options where you enable other people to just jump right into the meeting room before you even have gotten there. You can mute participants on entry. Um, so you have a few options here, but once you're done, you're gonna click on save 
and then you can add it to any of your calendars. So for example, if you click on Google Calendar because you want this event to be added to your Google Calendar, you'll need to click on that. It will sync your Zoom and uh, Google Calendar together, so you need to allow it access. And then once the event is on your calendar, you can invite people to that meeting by typing in their email address and they'll get sent that invite from there and similar on any of these other calendar platforms. What you can also do is just copy this invitation link directly and just email it to someone. So you can click on copy the invitation and this is all of the details that your participant needs to know. So you can see here the name of the meeting, the link to join, the password if there is one, all this kind of stuff if they're dialing in from, you know, just from the phone and not going to be on, on camera, um, then they have all of this information here for you where you can click on copy meeting invitation and then you can easily paste it into an email. So I like that feature as well, it makes it easy. And, um, and that's it, so you basically have this meeting scheduled. You can click on start this meeting now if you wanted to. Uh, you can always come back and edit them as well. But let's say this meeting is in the future and now you're ready to host the meeting. So all you need to do is come into, again, you will log into your Zoom account and you'll come into the meetings tab. So under upcoming meetings, you should see your the meeting that you just scheduled. If you didn't, then you didn't click save or something went wrong there, you'll need to go back and schedule the meeting. So make sure it's on upcoming meetings too and not on any of these other tabs. So once you are ready to start it, it's the, you know, it's May 13th, 2 p.m., then all you need to do is just click on start and then you'll click on open Zoom meetings. And then you're just gonna click on join with computer audio. And you can see here my mic is going um, on here. I'm not gonna click on start video because I'm using my video to record this tutorial right here. Um, but what you will need to do is click on that. If you are going to be on video when hosting the meeting, if you don't see your video or you wanna make sure that it's set to the right webcam, then you need to click on this little cap or upwards arrow and make sure it's selected to the correct webcam. And if you don't see a webcam on here, you need to unplug, um, just try unplugging the USB cord and replugging it back in. If that still doesn't work, then that likely means that there's some sort of application, uh, maybe it's like an antivirus software or something like that that's blocking your webcam from being accepted. You also want to make sure your mic is set to the correct mic. So maybe you have a plugged in microphone and you want to use that USB mic, for example, like what I have here. Uh, if you don't have a USB mic, you can easily just use the mic from your laptop as well. That's fine. And you'll see it uh, popped up on here as well. So this is what it looks like when you first come into the meeting as a host and you'll see your participants here. You know, if you have set the waiting room option, then what will happen is once someone has jumped onto the link that you provided them with, you'll get a little notification in here saying, uh, so-and-so is in the waiting room. I don't know the exact text, but you'll see something like they're in the waiting room and you gotta allow them to access this meeting room. So you just click on the button to allow access and that's when they'll actually be on this meeting room with you. But if you unchecked the waiting room option, then they'll literally, as soon as they click on the link, they'll come right into the screen and you'll see them pop up. You can also, while you're in here, just directly invite someone through uh, the different email options here. You can also, again, copy the URL or copy the invitation to resend to them perhaps if they, if they didn't get it. And you can also have, you can also chat with someone here. So I sometimes use this chat function. If for example, I can't hear them, there's something going on with their mic, I'll click on the chat box and start typing it in here. Um, and I'll say, click on the chat box if they can hear me. And uh, so that they can see my instructions to turn their mic on. Um, so that is kind of handy as well. This is where you can record your meeting. When you're ready to record, you can click on that. 
And this is the screen share option. So yeah, so when you click on it, you can click, you will be clicking on screen and then go share. So I'm not gonna do it because again, the software that I'm using is, um, it might glitch out or something might happen, but this is what you would do to share your screen if during the meeting you'll be doing that. You can also have a whiteboard option. So if you wanted to click on that and select share, then you can literally draw stuff on here. Um, if you're demonstrating something, you can select text. There's a bunch of really cool things that you could do. And whenever you're done with the whiteboard, you can click on stop share. So that's what it looks like to host a meeting. You'll see all of your participants pop up in here if you've allowed them access. You can also hover on each one of their boxes and make sure that they're, uh, they're unmuted because sometimes it will default to having them muted um, and you can easily hover over their camera box. And if it says mute, it means they are already unmuted, so you're, you're good. But if it has the option to unmute, that means they are muted and you wanna click on unmute so that you'll be able to hear their audio. And once you're done the meeting, you've said goodbye to everybody, you literally can just click on end meeting and you can either leave or end it for everybody. As a host, I typically just click on end for all so that it kicks everyone out of the meeting room at once. And that's it. That's how you host a Zoom meeting from start to finish, all going from creating, setting up the meeting, scheduling it, sending the invite to your participants, to hosting the meeting, to finishing it up. So like I said, if you haven't signed up for a Zoom account yet, again, that link is in the description below, so you can click on that and schedule, set up your first Zoom meeting to host. And let me know if this video has been helpful. I would love to hear from you. You can either give this video a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below, or both, that would be much appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.